Right, and Indianapolis father is being remembered. His friends and family say that he was known for helping others, and that's why they say they just can't understand why somebody would have killed him. His shooting death happened last week on Indy's south side. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live downtown with the latest on this investigation. Ebony. Drew, Metro Police tell me detectives are actively investigating the double shooting that left a man in critical condition and another man dead. Today, the family of the man who died told me they will not feel safe until the person responsible is caught. The pictures, oh, yeah. candles, and stories are in memory of a son, brother, father, and friend. He loved my kids. My kids, his son, played together. We all hung out. We used to have good times and now he's not going to be here to do it with us anymore all over stupidity. Danny Thompson's friends and family say he was kind and giving and that's what they'll tell his five-year-old son who will grow up without him. I will I'm gonna take care of his son he's he's what's left he's what he left to us <laughs> and I'm gonna take care of him Wednesday morning, Indianapolis police came to this house on South Chase Street on the city's south side. Investigators say neighbors reported an argument, then gunshots. 28-year-old Thompson was killed. Medics took another man to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition. Danny didn't deserve this. This was not fair. And whoever did this, they, we will seek justice on him. As Danny Thompson's family waits for answers about why he was killed and who's responsible, they say they'll shower his son with love. Looking at him, we have a piece of Danny in our hearts. And that's what matters right now. And he's here with us and he's going to stay with us and I'm going to be better for him. Police say they need the public's help. They ask anyone with any information at all to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 262-TIPS. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.